Hello everyone, this is Dr. Esperanza and for today we're going to be working on algebraic expressions at para sa kalaman ng lahat, ang mathematics or ang pag-aaral ng math, it's like similar to learning a foreign language. For example, kung meron tayong apple, 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 at banana, banana, pwede natin itong simplify into algebraic expressions wherein A is equal to apple at B ay equal to banana. At kung isa-simplify pa natin to further, meron tayong 1, 2, 3 apples. So pwede natin itong isulat as 3A at meron din tayong 1, 2 bananas. So pwede natin itong isulat na 2B. At pag pinagsama natin ito, we can write it as 3a plus 2b na isang halimbawa ng algebraic expression in its simplest form. So for example, meron tayong x, 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 which can be represented by anything. Pwede natin itong isulat ng mas simple pa, so meron tayong 4x. At kung meron tayong b plus b plus b plus c and plus c, Kunin lang natin yung magkakaparehas na letra at ipagsama-sama natin ito. So, meron tayong 3B plus 2C. At sa ating e-book, may mga practice problems tayo na pwede natin sagutan at mas maiintindihan natin yung ating mga simple algebraic expression problems kung naiintindihan natin yung language na gagamitin natin. So, sa unang set of problems, meron tayong x equal to 5 at isisimplify natin yung ating mga expressions given the value of x, which is 5. So, x plus 9, substitute natin yung value ng x, which is 5. So, meron tayong 5 plus 9. So, 5 plus 9 is equal to 14. At yan yung gagawin natin sa pagsimplify ng ilang algebraic break expressions into a numerical form. As a susunod ng word problem, meron tayong there were M children in a class, write an expression in terms of M for each of the following and find the values when M is equal to 35. So alam natin na hinahanap natin yung number of boys given na meron tayong 16 girls. So alam natin na meron tayong 35 children which is represented by M, at meron din tayong given information sa clue natin, which is 16 girls, at hahanapin natin yung number of boys by simply subtracting 35 children sa 16 girls. So, 16 subtracted from M will be the number of boys in the class, which in turns, M natin, sabi sa problem is 35, so 35 minus 16 would be the number of boys in the class, which is equal to 19. At sa part 3, is simplify natin yung mga algebraic expression tulad ng ginawa natin kanina. So kung meron tayong C plus C plus C plus C, so apat na C yan, which we can simplify into 4 C. At meron tayo sa problem number 2 na 5 times D, can be also translated as 5 multiplied by D. So, pwede natin siyang i-represent by parentheses, which is ang operation ng multiplication, or simply 5D kasi yun yung mas simplified version ng ating expression. So, ganyan natin sinisimplify yung mga algebraic expressions sa algebra at kung alam natin i-translate yung ating mga verbal statements into a numerical expression or statements, magkakaintindihan tayo at mas maiintindihan natin yung language of mathematics. This is Dr. E and see you again next time. Bye!